shooting it very well after a shoulder injury, but she's looking to be aggressive from the field. She said his true advantage is, even though he's got the player of the year, he loves his post play. And in transition. To execute and actually be dependable for some points. Nice pass. And a short jumper is good by Morrell right now. Arkin and count the basket, the hope and the harm. Couldn't have He's been trying to make some history on the women's side for quite some time. You mentioned the passing of this team. Well, it starts with an unselfish star in Andrea Gamble as she gets a... Look at that low position. And a nice entry pass. Gamble, staring down the defender, pulls up and hits. The semifinals. Gooch for three. Wow. Chastity Gooch is on fire. Seven to shoot. Gamble, a leaner. Gamble gets it to go. Gamble, another leaner, and this time she gets the bounce and roll. Keep Andrea Gamble out of the lane. Gooch goes to work, splits a double, and banks it home. Gamble, who has all seven. Red Wolves points in the second half, will give it up. And an open three is knocked down by Kadam. Full court pressure broken, and Gamble knows how to finish. And it starts right here. Good defensive pressure by WKU, but when the ball gets into the middle of the floor, Jalen O'Bannon played point guard in high school. Wow, what a play. And back on the other end, it's the Red Wolves. For five to play. Three ball. Got it. Big shot there. Here. Gooch inside. Two point game. And the Lady Toppers have it. A chance to tie. Maybe even take the lead. For three. Got it! Unbelievable! Bianca McGee has caught fire, and the Lady Toppers are up one. There is not a senior in the starting lineup for the Lady Toppers, but there is leadership in the senior class off the bench, and Bianca McGee. How deep was that three-point shot? She was two or three feet behind the line. Campbell knifing through the lane, missed it short. Offensive rebound is good. Tough shot. Clock under 10 seconds, no timeout called. Gamble missed it. Loose ball, and that'll do it. The Lady Toppers come from behind. 14 down in the second half, and they'll go dancing. Well, you know, this team is incredible. I'm so happy for them. We fought all season to get here, and they never gave up. And they kept saying, we're going to win this game, coach. We're going to win this game. We switched up, and we went full court, added a little more speed on the floor so we could try to just disrupt them a little bit. And uh, thank goodness for our bench and different people doing good things. And I'm just so happy right now. The play of Bianca McGee off of the bench, the shots that she hit late, what did you ask from her as a senior coming into this game? I told her, I said, Bianca, this is the time right now. Big time players step up in big moments, and she did. She said, Coach, I got you. I'm going to make shots. And she did. And I'm just happy for her. You wore the jersey for this program, went to four NCAA tournaments, came in and have turned this place around. What does it mean to be going to the NCAA tournament and getting the Lady Toppers back? I look out there at them. And I just thank God. And I'm so blessed and that somebody gave me an opportunity and believed in me. And now they get to, they get to share that moment. I did it as a player. And I'm so blessed now that I get to do it as a coach. Congratulations, coach. Go cut down the net. Thank you.
Chastity, 26 points, 12 rebounds for you. You were on a mission from the very beginning of this game. What was your mentality? To, to get through it, to get through to the win, get the win for the championship. We've worked really hard with, with everything that we've worked for, so. You were down as many as 14 points. What were you and your teammates saying to each other that encouraged this comeback win? We've we worked too hard. We've been through so much with the new coach, you know, being uh, losing and coming to a winning program. It, we just worked really hard for this. You played a lot of minutes, logged maybe 40, just under. When you got into foul trouble, what was going through your mind picking up your fourth foul? Well, we have a 10-hour bus drive back home, so I can rest as much as I want to. I just had to say calm, cool, and collective, and that's what I did. You're going to the big dance. What does this mean for not only your career, but also for this Lady Toppers program? I, I never thought that I would be in this position and have this opportunity that I do today, and I'm just so grateful, and I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm just so excited right now. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much.